it's been catastrophic, in a word. Catastrophic because of the, the profound effect of the fire on killing so many individual animals. In terms of the numbers of individuals, the number of species that are potentially lost, and the, um, and the potential damage long term to ecosystems, this season has been really unprecedented in terms of what we've seen before. One of the big things about the about kangaroos and koalas and wombats is that they're, they're pretty shy animals. They don't normally go near people. So to find kangaroos in, in numbers sheltering on people's front lawns is, is really quite incredible. And for them to come in and congregate in the presence of humans means that they're overcoming a terror to overcome what would usually be a common fear. There's no doubt that the figure is over a billion animals that would have been caught up and killed in the fires. It's quite likely that many of these slower moving animals would have been killed immediately. So that would include the koala, of course. We've seen horrible images of burnt koalas, burnt uh, kangaroos, wombats and so on. But some animals would survive. They would go underground, they might be in tree hollows that were in less intensely burned areas of forest. But when they emerge, you find there are no resources, no food, no water, no no shelter, no habitat, the likelihood would be that many, or indeed most of those, would die at some later time. It may well be a hundred years before some forest components that are really essential for a wide range of animal species, decades or a hundred years before they come back. This has shaken Australia, certainly, out of the lethargy that it had about its effect on the environment. We've really sleepwalked into this disaster. I think there is a sentiment at the moment that we have ignored the environment to a large degree and it's, it's now come back to bite us. And that's the case. We really need to think seriously about how we can mend our ways and look after the environment much better in the future.